welcome to Dash Delish. Uh, our family is camping this weekend, and one of the things that's really cool about this trip is our friend Tom Mills over at Green Shorts Channel let us borrow his Rocket King uh, rocket stove that he designed and built. And it's super compact because this whole thing just comes apart like this, packs flat, and it just fits into this teeny little um, sleeve. Throughout this video, you'll, you'll see that I literally just woke up when we made our coffee this morning. My brain was not working yet, and I kept calling this thing the King Rocket instead of the Rocket King. But it's the Rocket King. We'll have the links in the description to both his channel and to where you can buy one of these if you're interested. Uh, so let's get to it. I'm still tired from sleeping in there. But... We just woke up at our campsite and we're gonna try to make some coffee. Get our pot of water, throw it on, and ah. see if we can get it on there evenly. Alright. Keep feeding the fuel. You push it in as it burns down. Yeah. Oh, there's some flames. oil and water here so it was a little hard to get started because of our wet paper and stuff but once it got going this thing's working pretty well nice and hot a lot of bloom in there we got really good coffee freshly roasted right before we came out to the campsite so if this was junk coffee we just filled this up care about my coffee. Alright, right, now I can finally wake up. We uh, you know, thought really far ahead and forgot any kind of utensil that would work on a pan, so we're just using our s'more sticks to move things around. So, flip them. Got some bagels. See how the rocket stove, King Rocket Stove, works with our uh, works with our bagels. We got our first bagels. And our first tester. And <laughs> there we go. That's cooked on one side, a little less cooked on the other. And we turned this one around, and so the edges kind of got cooked because of the way it's cut. 
So, let's see. Are they satisfactory, Asher? They're hot. Pretty good. Awesome. Well, King Rocket Stove worked pretty well for us. Um, our conditions weren't ideal for getting it started, but it even worked for this cast iron. Okay, so we've we've cooked a few times over this trip, and um, most of our cooking we've actually just done on the fire here because we're using like our cast iron. And one of the things that was really cool that we noticed was that with this, um, we used a lot, a lot less wood to produce enough heat to heat up our water and our pan. And you can see uh, this this tiny pile of ash compared to an enormous pile of wood. Now the wood's pretty, the fire's pretty and stuff, but if you're backpacking instead of car camping at a campsite like we are, then um, you don't may not want to make a giant fire like this. Um, and this would be a great use of your, of your space to be able to just bring it in and use just bound wood in the, in the place around your campsite and uh, it worked great. Thanks, Tom, over at Green Shorts for letting us borrow this and trying it out on our camping trip. And um, if you enjoyed this video, you should sleepily click that subscribe button. Um, go check out Green Shorts. He's got great how-to videos and do-it-yourself stuff and tons of stuff about all kinds of homemade rocket stoves and, of course, the King Rocket Stove that he makes himself. Happy camping.